My aunt called me the other day and asked me if I'd build a rustic manger for her church. Well, being that it is the season, I said yes. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did that. I've got a stop block set up and I'm cutting all of my pieces to length. I'm using rough cut cedar on this project because it's very rustic looking and I got a bunch. I want the legs to be tapered. So I'm using each leg as a straight edge to mark the other one. To cut them, I'm just freehanding them on the table saw. If they're not exactly straight, that's more the better because it's supposed to be rustic. As you can see, one side is rough sawn, but the other three sides are smooth. We have to remedy that. Here's a wire wheel I've chucked into my drill. Using this, this roughens up the side. Here's what it looks like. Pretty close. Now we gotta do the edges. There were a lot of boards I had to roughen up. Now for a little assembly. I'm gonna tack the legs in place temporarily with a couple of brads. Now to strengthen them, I'm using some drywall screws. We'll hide these heads later. The edges of these boards are too straight to be rustic, so I'm just re-sawing them freehand on the bandsaw, adding a little bit of artistic wave to them. Nice and random. Now it's time to start assembling the sides of our manger. I'm using brad nails to attach these to the uprights. Now we have to make sure everything is parallel and square. Setting it on the ground, we'll start building the other side as well. To make the cross pieces to support our bottom, I'm just splitting a 1x4 with a hatchet. That gives it a really random look. Now we're going to nail these onto our manger. Notice I'm nailing everything from the inside so that the brad nails aren't visible. It may come as a surprise to some that they didn't have pneumatic nail guns 2,000 years ago. If you don't believe me, Google it. Now it's time to put the bottom in the trough. For this, we're using a 1x8. Also, nailing this to the top of the supports that we just put on. Now it's time to finish putting our slats on. We're going to evenly space these between the first one and the bottom. And then generously nail them from the inside. In order to attach the ends of our manger, I first have to install some cleats on either side. Here's the first end. As you can see, we're now going to nail from the inside through these cleats into the end, thus hiding our nails again. We'll do the same for the other end. The final step is to hide the screw heads. 
This I'm accomplishing by putting a little dab of hot glue on each and then rubbing some cedar shavings on there. They virtually disappear when you do this. Well, here we have the finished product. I think once you add a little hay and a baby Jesus, this is going to make a wonderful addition to the decorations at my aunt's church. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you and your family have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And as always, thanks for watching.